we have two different decks in this video, and Jackpot 7 is making its return. Thanks to Neverapple and Pretend Bread Boy for the suggestion this time, and now let's check out Game 1. Alright, this is a pretty weird hand, but assuming we can find one more combo piece, we should be able to win. And our opponent is playing some kind of bestial rocket deck. They summon a few dragons, then use Verte to fuse for DPE, and pass their turn. Simple enough, and we draw... Nibiru! Definitely could've used that last turn, but it should work out just fine. To start things off, let's use Dark Ruler No More. This card negates all of our opponent's monsters at the cost of preventing us from dealing them any damage for the rest of the turn. The thing is, we don't actually need to deal damage to win the game, we only need to be able to take damage. But I'll explain that more in a bit. Let's follow it up with Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. This card destroys all monsters on board and summons two kaiju monsters from our deck. This will trigger the opponent's DPE and let them summon a bestial monster, but if everything goes right, they won't get a chance for that to matter. We still need to find one last combo piece, so play Pot of Prosperity, Banish and Reveal 6, and pick up Hippo Carnival. At least I don't have to sing the hippo song like I did last time. Gaba, 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 gaba. Now let's summon Dark Scorpion Burglars and activate Mystic Box. This card destroys one of our opponent's monsters and gives them control of one of ours, namely Dark Scorpion Burglars. This is our town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. When this card inflicts battle damage, the opposing player sends one spell card from their deck to the graveyard. Now this effect might have been decent back in the day, but letting the opponent bury a spell in modern Yu-Gi-Oh is practically asking to lose the game. Which is why we are giving control of it to our opponent. Now we can go to battle and use Hippo Carnival to summon three Hippo tokens to our field in attack mode. If you recall, Dark Ruler No More prevents our opponent from taking damage, but it does not prevent us from taking damage. So if we use our Hippo tokens to attack Dark Scorpion Burglars, it will let us send a certain spell card from our deck to the graveyard. That's right, Jackpot 7 returns. When all three copies of Jackpot 7 are sent to the graveyard by our opponent's card effect, we instantly win the game. So there's one Jackpot, two, and they surrender. <laughs> Man, that's too good. Now that we proved the combo works, let's try to make it a little more consistent. Game 2. Not a great start this time, since we only have one of our three combo pieces. But at least we have some interaction and can redraw with Magical Mallet. And our opponent is playing Red Dragon Archfiend. They do a bunch of synchro summoning, but we can launch Nibiru off at just the right moment, which manages to stop their turn. And we draw... Sublimation Knight. Sweet! That's another combo piece, so summon Sublimation and activate it to equip Squeak Knight, who can then summon itself and let us Link Summon for a soul. Since the Dark Scorpion monsters are all warriors, we can bury a bunch of equip spells to summon our burglars from the deck to the leftmost monster zone. Man, that's hard to say. We can add Phoenix Gearblade to hand and shuffle everything back with Magical Mallet to hopefully find... Super Hippo Carnival. We are running three copies of each, but that was still a close one. Now we can use Nibiru and Assault to Link Summon for Geonator Transverser. This card swaps control of the two monsters it's pointing to, which is why I summon them in these specific locations. I also used Transverser in a Silly Strat a while back, where I would trick the opponent into using a Machu mech that I just gave them, and then spring a damage reversal spell to win the game. Unfortunately, it never saw the light of day, since Bish Balkan ended up being banned. Anyway, now we can go to battle and summon our bunch of hippos. A herd of hippos? Wait, what do you call a group of hippopotamuses? A group of hippos is called a bloat of hippos, consisting of one male and 10 to 20 females. Man, I did not know hip hippo was like that. Anyway, we can attack three times, send all three copies of Jackpot 7 to the grave, and win the game. Don't forget to hit that like button before we check out Game 3. We have a decent start this game, but we drew one of our jackpots, which is a little awkward. Anyway, our opponent is playing Sword Soul, so they summon Baron, Chi Zhao, and of course, Arch Nemesis Protos. Ugh. 
If you aren't familiar with this card, it can declare an attribute of a monster on the field and prevent the opponent from summoning anything that shares that attribute during the next turn. They of course declare Dark, which unfortunately matches our Dark Scorpion. However, if you read Protos carefully, it actually only stops the special summon of a Dark monster. Since we can just normal summon the Burglars and go for our combo, we should be good to go. It's our turn and we draw Hippo Carnival. Sweet! Now that the combo is assembled, let's win this game. First, let's activate Kaiju Slumber to force the Baron negation. Next, we can normal summon the Burglars and activate Mystic Box to target their Baron and offer our opponent control. Now you may have noticed that Chi Zhao could negate Dark Scorpion's effects here, but like, why would anyone make that decision without already knowing what was going on? I don't know, what would you do? I certainly wouldn't if I was them. At any rate, we destroy their Synchro and give our opponent the Burglars before summoning a Bloat of Hippos and activating Jackpot 7? While the important effect for Jackpot talks about how to win the game, it also has the ability to shuffle itself back into the deck for no value. Something I once again did not realize in my first few games with the deck. Now we just need to attack three times to secure another Jackpot 7 win. While obviously pretty janky, the deck is really straightforward and functions with a variety of simple three card combos. At first I thought I could get this combo done with only two cards. Any one card is sold and either of the hippo cards since I could use one of the hippos to go into Link Spider and Transverser and then link down to a monster with attack lower than Dark Scorpions. But of course that didn't work because I was once again defeated by not fully reading my cards. Hidden in this wall of text is the line, you cannot special summon from the extra deck while you control a hippo token. So you can't use the hippos to link summon. Which, you know, fair. And that's where the three card combo comes in. The more consistent version uses either Nibiru or Kaiju Slumber to get a monster in our opponent's central monster zone, then uses either Neospace Connector or Sublimation Knight to summon Isold, who can then summon burglars from the deck. Then we can link into Transverser with our other two monsters, swap control, and summon the Hippos to attack into Dark Scorpion for the jackpot win. But since Isold is banned in the TCG, I wanted to include a version of the deck that didn't rely on it. Obviously it won't be as consistent, but we can use Mystic Box or Xi'an Spy to give our opponent control of the Dark Scorpions, then still attack it with Hippos to send off the jackpots and win that way. And if you start with Neospace Connector and Aqua Dolphin, you can do some funny stuff like discarding the opponent's Exodia. But just in case that isn't spicy enough for you, let's check out... Game 4. Alright, our opponent is playing Blue Eyes and it looks like they might have bricked a bit, but we have zero combo pieces in hand, so our only hope is to get lucky with this Magical Mallet and draw all three of the cards we need. So, Heart of the Cards? Wow, I was not expecting that to actually work. Okay, no need to draw anything else. Let's summon Dark Scorpion and activate Xi'en Spy to give our opponent control, and then summon our Bloat of Hippos before heading to battle. We attack with the first Hippo to send and banish Jackpot number one, and our opponent has Blue Eyes Jet, but that really doesn't matter. We're just gonna ignore it anyway. Attack again for Jackpot number two, and we have some extra Hippos this time, so why not get a little toxic? Let's attack for the third time and show our opponent the letter L. Damn! Bad manners aside, we can attack with the last hippo, banishing our final copy of Jackpot 7 and winning the game. Well, that is gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because when I hit 10,000 subs, I'll be releasing a special Silly Strat video featuring 10,000 Dragon and one of the craziest combos I've ever made. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.